WatchOS 11.1 has just been released for the Apple Watch and in this video we're going to be looking at all the new features and changes coming including some that are Apple intelligence related for the Apple Watch. This update for me on my Apple Watch Ultra 1 comes in at around 272 megabytes. I was already testing it on the beta and if you're updating to it for the first time it's going to be slightly larger. Since I've updated my device let's talk about some of the new features and changes that you can expect when it comes to watch always 11.1 the most important thing probably with this update is Apple intelligence for the Apple watch because this update does provide Apple intelligence and you can see by going into the control center right here and then if we go into the focus mode here and go down a little bit you notice we have this reduce interruptions focus mode that's mirrored with your other devices and if you turn it on like this and you have an iPhone close by you can choose how long you want to turn it on for and you can see on the iPhone it also shows you this reduce interruptions focus mode and this uses machine learning to be able to help you focus by reducing and limiting interactions unless if it's priority or urgent then sometimes it might be able to let it through and before there was an issue if you watch some of my videos where I would try and turn this on and when I would do that my watch would actually freeze and stop responding and this has been fixed and if I turn it off right there it also turns it off on the iPhone as you can see and the you notice there it just disappeared now and that's a good fix and it's a new thing that's here and also another thing that has been introduced by means of Apple intelligence is notification summaries and this feature is included in multiple Apple watch application for the notifications this is something that you are going to see to between your notifications and as you go through your Apple watch it's supported in the messages notifications that you get if you get a long email and you scroll down and you go to your notification page it's going to be summarized to help you to be able to see the importance of that. Something new that has been added with watchOS 11.1, if you use the Apple Shortcuts application, I'll be happy to let you know that there's a new health shortcut for the iPhone application. For This is in correspondence to the latest iOS version, which is iOS 18.1. So in order to see the new health shortcut in the Shortcuts app, you have to make sure that your iPhone is up to date with the latest iOS 18.1. 18.1 and watch OS 11.1 and use the new shortcut. Now health is getting better with watch OS 11.1 especially if you have a new Apple watch series because if you go into your health application on the iPhone and you search or look for sleep apnea it's found under the sleep section. In this section right here you can see you have sleep apnea articles that you can read about and find out what sleep apnea is but not only that if you see this sleep highlights here you get to see your sleep pattern and if you have sleep apnea issues you can go to the sleep apnea notifications and it will tell you about that and right down there you can see there is sleep apnea that's now supported and you can see right here for me it says that uh, sleep apnea notifications are unavailable sleep apnea notifications are not available on your apple watch but my region is supported which is Canada where I'm at so if you're in a country or region that supports this new sleep apnea function then you are going to be getting it there's over currently 150 countries that support this sleep apnea notification but in order for you to be able to use it you need to be updated to the latest iOS 18.1 version on newer and you need to have an Apple Watch Series 9, Apple Watch Series 10 or Apple Watch Ultra 2. The reason I don't have this is because my Apple Watch that you see here this is the Apple Watch Ultra 1 and for me to just update my series just for one feature didn't really make sense but at least Apple has added it and you can use it if you are a person that has a supported series. Now according to the release notes of watchOS 11.1 you can see they mentioned that this update includes improvements and bug fixes and including a fix for an issue with writing breathing disturbances data to HealthKit for some users. So that's something that has been fixed and HealthKit basically allows the Apple Watch and the iPhone to access and share health and data fitness for related applications that are set according to the user's preferences. So it could be possible maybe where your health metrics in the fitness application on your Apple Watch or 
either in the uh, health app on the iPhone were not being written properly. I didn't experience that issue, but if you were, I'll be happy to let you know that that has been fixed. Also, there was an issue in the messages application that didn't seem to synchronize with what I was sending or replying to on the phone, which was an issue. And at the same time, when I go, I would go into like a message and then click the keyboard. You notice here, the iPhone is supposed to give you these notifications that, hey, Apple Watch keyboard, where you can press and then type on your keyboard and it's supposed to connect and be able to do this which is normal but before there was an issue with that and apple has resolved that and at the same time the messages that you send on your apple watch and on your iphone are going to be synchronized including links which i've tested and proved to be okay if you are a person that uses continuity camera i use it so much and so often to be able to frame my shots you can see here it's actually fixed and it has no delay you notice how fast it is and it's working unlike the issue that I had before where it would freeze. So continuity camera and handoff has been fixed and the delay that was there is no longer existing with the latest watchOS update. For some reason, my watch actually blacked out a little bit. You saw the watch face was slow to react, but it's good to see that continuity is fixed. Now, if you watched my recent video where I urged users not to update to watchOS 11.1, .1, I believe it was beta three, there was an issue that would cause the Apple Watch to literally stop working. So one of the ways that my watch would actually freeze was by multiple by pressing the crown multiple times like this and it would freeze and stop responding but as you can see i can do that freely and that bug has been fixed and at the same time in the stopwatch or the stop clock sometimes it would overlay text and freeze and would become unresponsive it's like the stopwatch would it literally stop the actual watch itself and that bug has been fixed i've been able to use it and the random restarts have been resolved with this update Something that's good that this update seems to provide, at least for me with my experience using this Apple Watch Ultra One on watchOS 11.1, .1, you can see here, I just connected to a charger, maybe like a minute for the update to take place. And before that, I had actually charged it last night and I was using it after the update in order to see, you know, the new features and changes. And I'm pretty happy with the battery performance on watchOS 11.1. .1. It seems like the update or the releases and patches that were implemented in watchOS 11.0.1 .1 that had to do with battery drain fix for a couple of the series Apple watches are also implemented in here because the battery life, at least for me in my experience with the Ultra One, is pretty good. Now, Another unfortunate thing that you might need to know, you know, a number of users asked me to check this. Of course, you know, since the official release of watchOS 11, we have no new watch faces. We still have these. And at the same time, the watch faces that were removed are still removed. They're not yet back. And I don't think Apple will bring them back. So such some of those watch faces include the numerals duo. You have the Siri watch face among others that were removed. And I don't think we are going to see like you notice the S section that I'm on it has already completed and we don't have the Siri watch face. And that's because the smart stack section like this section that you see here replaces the Siri watch face in a way, I guess. But yeah, a couple of watch faces. I believe there's four watch faces that were removed by watchOS 11 that used to be existing on watchOS 10. So that's just my quick update that I have here for you when it comes to watchOS 11.1. .1. My name is Ben. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.